विकल्प मिलेंगे बहुत मार्ग भटकाने के लिए संकल्प एक ही काफी है मंजिल तक जाने के लिए इसी बात के साथ शुरुआत करते हैं आज का बहुत ही शानदार सेशन ज्योग्राफी से जुड़ा हुआ सारे प्रश्न होगा बने रहिए इस चैनल में देखते रहिए सीखते रहिए आगे बढ़ते रहिए ऑल द बेस्ट ऑल द बेस्ट विद द रेफरेंसेस टू द रिवर सिस्टम ऑफ इंडिया कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट अब हम बात करेंगे जो रिवर सिस्टम है उसमें से जो महत्वपूर्ण बातें आपको बताना है घाघरा रिवर राइजेस इन नेपाल हिमालय बिटवीन धौलागिरी माउंट एवरेस्ट टीला सेती एंड बेरी आर द ट्रिब्यूटरीज ऑफ गंडक रिवर कोसी इज ए एन एंटीसीडेंट रिवर कल मैंने अच्छा से आपको एंटीसीडेंट के बारे में बताया था ऐसे नदियां जो अपनी भी पहचान नहीं बदलती है रास्ता नहीं बदलती है बल्कि रास्ता को ही बदल देती है विच आर द करेक्ट तो मेरे ख्याल से उसका ऑप्शन देखिए तीसरा स्टेटमेंट आप ऐसे दिमाग लगा सकते थे सी ही सही है केवल और केवल तीन देखिए गंडक रिवर की बात करते हैं गंडक रिवर गंडक कंप्राइज दो दो इसकी धाराएं हैं एक है काली गंडक दूसरा है त्रिशूल गंगा इट राइज इन नेपाल हिमालय बिटवीन धौलागिरी एंड माउंट एवरेस्ट एंड ड्रेन्स द सेंट्रल पार्ट ऑफ नेपाल और ये सेंट्रल पार्ट ऑफ नेपाल में हो जाता है इट इंटर्स द गंगा प्लेन इन चंपारण डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ बिहार एंड जॉइन द गंगा एट सोनपुर नियर पटना पटना के पास सोनपुर में गंगा नदी से जाके मिलती है ये ठीक है सोनपुर में मिलता है ये गंडक नदी घाघरा रिवर ओरिजिनेटेड इन दी ग्लेशियर ऑफ मापुचुंगाउंगा मापुचुंगाउंगा कालिका मैपचा चुंगो मैपचा चुंगोंगो आफ्टर कलेक्टिंग द वाटर्स ऑफ इट ट्रिब्यूटरीज टीला सेती बेरी इट कम्स आउट ऑफ द माउंटेन कटिंग अ डीप गॉर्ज एट शीसा पानी द रिवर शारदा ऑल्सो नन एज काली गंगा ज्वाइंट इट दी प्लेन बिफोर इट फाइनली मीट्स द गंगा एट छपरा कोसी रिवर की बात करते हैं कोसी रिवर द कोसी इज एन एंटीसीडेंट रिवर विथ इट सोर्सेस टू द नॉर्थ ऑफ द माउंट एवरेस्ट इन तिब्बत where its main stream arun rises after crossing the central himalaya in nepal it is joined by the son koshi from the west and the taimur koshi from the east it form sapt koshi after uniting with the river arun an antecedent stream is a stream that maintain its original course and patterns despite the change in underlying rock topography which of the following geological events in the past have shaped the present drainage system of peninsular india subsistence of the western flank of the peninsula a fail of the yeah, upheaval of himalayas slight tilting of peninsular block from the northwest to the southern east direction which are the correct answer the four course given below 
I think D is the right answer. One, two, and three. Evolution of peninsular drainage system. Three major geological events in the distant past have shaped the present drainage system of peninsular India. Subsistence of the western flank of the peninsula, leading to its submergence below the sea during the early tertiary period. Generally, it has disturbed the symmetrical plane of the river on either side of the original water shed. The upheaval of the Himalayas when the northern flank of the peninsular block was subjected to subsistence, subsistence, a subsidence, and the consequent thorough halting, the Narmada and the Tapi flow in the thorough faults and fill in the original cracks. With their detritus material, det detritus materials, hence there is a lack of alluvial and deltaic deposits in these rivers. Slighting, a slight tilting of the peninsular block from northwest to southern eastern direction gave the orientation to the entire drainage system towards the Bay of Bengal during the same period. Which of the following is are the best flowing peninsular rivers? Swarnarekha, Bharat Puja, Periyar. Choose the correct answer. I think only and only two and three is the right answer. The rivers flowing towards the Arabian Sea have short course. Bharat Puja. It rises near Annamalai Hills. It is also known as Ponnani. It drains an area of 5,000 square kilometer almost. It is an interstate river which flows through the Kerala, Tamil Nadu. It flows westward through the Pal Palakkal Gap, most of the prominent discontinuity in the western ghats and drains into the Arabian Sea. Mal Malampuja Dam is the largest among the receiver built across the Bharat Puja and its tributaries. Periyar. Periyar is a perennial river and it is used for supplying drinking water to the state originated from Sivgiri Hills to the Western Ghats and flows through the Periyar National Park and reaches the Periyar Lake and then the water flows into the Bemnard Lake and finally into the Arabian Sea. Eduki Dam on the Periyar generates a significant proportion of Kerala's electric power. Swarnrekha rivers flow through the states of Jharkhand, West Bengal, Odisha. Swarnrekha originates from Rachi plate in Jharkhand, forming the boundary between the West Bengal and Odisha in its lower course. It joins a bay of Bengal, forming an estuary between Ganga and Mahanadi Delta. Total length almost 4,000, 400 kilometers. What is, which of the following rivers was known as the name of Kanaknandi? Kanaka and Dini, Chitropola and Nipola. It's a Mahanadi. Mahanadi river is a major river in the east, in the central India. Mahanadi is also known as Kodhirakun Dam 
Gangrel Dam and Dhruva Dam. The river flows through the state of Chhattisgarh and Odisha. It is bounded by the central India hills on the north, by the eastern ghats on the south east, and by the Makal range on the west. It is different era. The rivers was known by several names, जैसे कि ancient era में ऐसा कनक नंदनी, द्वारपारा या द्वापर युग, चित्रपोला, similar name, मत्स्या पुराण, चित्रपोला, तृतीय युग इसे नीलोता, इसे नीलोता, नीलोत पला, नीलोता पला या पाला, नी नीलोत पाला Nilot Pala, similar name is Vayu Puran, Mahavarta era that is called Mahananda, and Kali Yuga is a Mahanadi, ya Mahasvita. Which of the following pair is correctly matched? Kolar, Harangani, or Pravara. Pravara. Which are the correct tributaries and rivers? Polar is the tributaries of Krishna. Rangani. Which correct match? Only and only two is the right. Polar, yeah, Polar, Polar is the right bank tributary of Narmada. It flow from the total length 100 km, which is the state of MP, Kolar. It arises in the Vindhya range of Sihu district and flows in the southwesterly direction to meet Narmada near Nasrul Ganj. Harangi is the left bank tributary of Kaveri. Harangani is the left bank tributary of Kaveri, Paravara is the smallest major tributary of Godavari, Mahan, Morana, Gaur and Ramdiya are the tributaries of which of the following river? It's a Rihan, Rihand, Rihand, yeah, Rihand, Rihand river is the tributary of Son river. which flow through the state of Chhattisgarh, U.P. Rihand ka jo old naam tha, wo tha Renu ya phir Renu ka. Rihand old name was Renu or Renu ka. The Rihand rises from Matiranga hills in the range of southwest of the Mani Pat plate. Principal tributaries of Rihand are Mahan, Murana, that means Murni, Gaur, Gagar, Gobri, Gaur, Gagar, Gobri, Mahan, Muran, Ipra, Kakchar, or Ramdia, or Gala, Pula, Gal, Pula. Achha. Rihan Dam was constructed across the Rihan River in UP in 1962 for the hydropower generation. The receiver impounded behind the dam, it is called Govind Balla Pant Sagar. With the reference, the differences between terrestrial and Jovian plain, consider the following statement. The atmosphere of Jovian planets is composed mainly of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. The core of the Jovian planet is more dense than the terrestrial planets. You know about that. Our Earth, our solar system having different types of planets. Out of them, terrestrial and Jovian planets are very famous. Let's see. I think B is the right answer. 
you know about that the planets is in a solar system are divided into terrestrial and jovian planets they are different in their position composition and features first of all let's see what are the jovian and the terrestrial planet jupiter saturn uranus neptune are jovian planets jupiter saturn uranus neptune four planets are jovian planet while mercury venus earth are the terrestrial plane terrestrial one of the main differences that can be seen between the terrestrial and jovian planets in their surfaces while the terrestrial planets are made of solid surface the jovian planets are made of a gaseous surface while the jovian planets are less dense when compared to terrestrial planets because they are mainly composed of hydrogen gases moreover the core of the jovian planets is more dense than the terrestrial planets core of the jovian planet is more dense than the terrestrial planets while the atmosphere of the terrestrial planet is composed of mainly of carbon dioxide nitrogen hydrogen helium this is a found abundance in the atmosphere of the jovian planets which of the following each are related to the formation or modification of the present atmosphere of the earth i think all are right present composition of earth's atmosphere is chiefly contributed by the nitrogen and oxygen there are three stages in the evolution of the present atmosphere the first state is marked by the loss of primordial atmosphere in the second stage the hot interior of the earth contributed to the evolution of the atmosphere finally the composition of the atmosphere was modified by the living world through the process of photosynthesis the early atmosphere with hydrogen and helium is supposed to have been stepped of as a result of the solar winds this happened not only in the case of the earth but also in the all the terrestrial planets which were supposed to have a lost their primordial atmosphere through the impact of the solar winds during the cooling of the earth the gases and the water vapors were released from the interior and the solid earth this is started the evolution of the present atmosphere they are the early atmosphere largely contain water vapor nitrogen carbon dioxide methane ammonia and very little of free oxygen the process which by the gases were out poured from the interior is called this degassing continuous volcanic eruption contributed water vapor and gases to the atmosphere consider the following statements venus appears to be the third brightest object in the sky after the sun and the moon high surface temperature of venus is attributed to the greenhouse effect venus spin on its axis from west to east which are the correct and they are these the right answers one and two because you know venus kaise ghumta hai venus jo ki nearest planetary neighbor of earth चार करोड़ किलोमीटर हैज इट सर्फेस हिडन फ्रॉम द व्यू बाय डेंस येलोलिस व्हाइट क्लाउड 
which extends to the 80 km above the surface. Venus appears to be the third brightest object in the sky after the sun and moon because of, or of its shortest distance from the our self because the white cloud reflects almost 76% of the sunlight that falls on it. Venus appears so bright at the times that under ideal atmospheric condition it may be seen the unadded eye in the daytime. The surface temperature of Venus are around 480 degrees Celsius. The atmosphere of Venus is made of 96% carbon dioxide gas and a cloud of sulfuric acid. The small quantities of hydrofluoric hydrochloric acids. There are small traces of water vapor, nitrogen, argon, sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide. The atmospheric pressure is 90 times pressure we feel from the Earth atmosphere. The high surface temperature of Venus comes out through the what is known as the greenhouse gas effect. The sunlight passes through the clouds and the atmosphere of the Venus and reaches its surface. The surface on being heated gives out infrared radiation. Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of the Venus does not let the infrared radiation escape. Thus, the heat of the sun is efficiently trapped with only very little being able to escape. As a result, the surface temperature rises. Venus is spin on its axis from east to west. Venus and Uranus is the exception to the counterclockwise road towards sun to the other planets of the solar system. They have what known as retrograde rotation. Spinning counter to the rotation of the sun. Which of the following planets is the part of Goldilocks zone? Only known the Earth. Goldilocks zone refers to the habitable zone around a star where the temperature is just right, not too hot, not too cold, for a liquid water to exist on a planet. Liquid water is essential for life as well as we know it, where we find liquid water on the Earth. We also find life. At present, Earth is the only planet in our solar system having a Goldilocks zone. A location of the Goldilocks zones around another star depends on the type of star. Bigger, hotter stars have their Goldilocks zones further out, while smaller, cooler stars have habitable zones much towards the limit. Consider the following statement. Kuiper belt is a region of solar system that exists beyond the eight major, major planets. Kuiper belt objects are composed of rock and metal. Pluto is the largest Kuiper belt objects. How can you say? So only and only these the right answer. One and three is the right answer. Kuiper belt is a circular disk in the outer solar system, including extending from the orbit of the Neptune. It is similar to the asteroid belt. But it is far larger, 20 times as the wide, wide, 200 to 200 times messy. Like the asteroid belt, it consists it consists mainly of small bodies or rem remnants from when the solar form. While many asteroids are composed primarily of rock and metal, most of the Kuiper belt objects are composed largely of frozen volatiles such as methane, ammonia, water. Kuiper belt objects are referred as being bits of rock and ice, comets and dwarf planets in the Kuiper belt. Beside Pluto and bunch of comets, other interesting Kuiper belt objects are Aries, Macmac, Huma, Humima, they are dwarf planets like Pluto. Consider the following statements. Mercury is smaller than the largest natural satellite in the solar system. Sun contains 75% of mass of the solar system. The surface gravity on Mars is 90% the gravity of the Earth. Which is correct? 
I think you know two is incorrect. Only and only one is the right. Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system and closest to the sun. It orbits around the sun. Takes eighty-seven or lagbhag eighty-eight Earth days. That is the shortest of the all of the sun's planet. Mm. When viewed from the Earth, the planet can only be seen near the western or eastern horizon during the early evening or early morning. Mercury is smaller than the larger, largest natural satellite in the solar system, that is Ganymede, the largest moon, moon of the Jupiter, and the Titan, largest moon of the Saturn. However, Mercury is massive, more mass than the Ganymede and Titan. Sun alone carries 99.8% of the total mass of the solar system. Sun's mass is 1.98 to 10 to 30 kg. Which is almost three lakh thirty thousand, thirty three thousand. That's the power of planet. Mars is often referred to as a red planet because of the reddish iron oxide prevalent on its surface. Mars has a thin atmosphere, and has surface features ranging from the impact craters of the moon, and the valleys, desert, and polar ice caps of the Earth. Compared to the Earth's surface gravity. On Mars is only 38% of the gravity on the Earth. What are the criteria adopted by the International Astronomical Unit IAU in order to declare any celestial object as a planet? It should orbit a star. It should be a big enough to have enough gravity to force it into the a spherical shape, it should have a, an atmosphere as a condition. One and two is the right. Definition of planet was adopted by the International Astronomical Union in 2006. A planet must should orbit a star in our system. It should be big enough to have enough gravity to force it into a spherical shape. It should be big enough that it is that its gravity cleared away any other objects of a similar size near its orbit around the sun. It should be a satellite of another objects. Thus, the solar system consists of eight planets: Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Which fulfill the above mentioned criteria. Consider the following statement Aurora on the Earth is formed when solar winds particles interact with the different gases in the atmosphere to cause display of light in the night sky. Unlike Aurora zone Earth, which are seen only near the North and South Poles. Auroras on Mars are seen all around the planet at the night time. How is it possible? Is it possible? Yes. Aurora or yeah, auroras are caused when the charged particle ejected from the sun's surface, called solar wind, enter the Earth's atmosphere. These particles are harmful, and our planet is protected by a geomagnetic field. Which preserves life by the shielding us from the solar wind. However, at the north and the south pole of the sun, of these solar winds particles are able to continuously stream down, stream down, and interact with our different gases into the atmosphere to cause a display of the lights in the sky. This display, known as aurora, is seen from the Earth's high alt latitude. Region called Aurora Oval, and it is active all year around. In the northern part of the globe, the polar lights are called Aurora Borealis or Northern Lights, and are seen as from U.S., Alaska, Canada, Iceland, Greenland, and Norway, Sweden, Finland. In the south, they are called Aurora Australis or Southern Lights, which are visible from high 
latitude in antarctica chile argentina new zealand australia unlike earth which has a strong magnetic field martian magnetic field has largely died out this is because the molten iron at the interior of the planet which produces magnetism has cooled however martian crust which hardened billions of years ago when the magnetic field existed retain some of the magnetism so it contrast with the earth which act like one single bar magnet magnetism on mars is unevenly distributed with field strewn across the planet and differing in the direction and the strength this this jointed field channel the solar wind to different parts of the martian atmosphere creating a discrete auroras over the entire surface of the planet as the charged particles interact with the atoms and the molecules in the sky as they do it don't on earth unlike aurora ya auroras on earth which are seen only near the north and south poles discrete auroras on mars are seen all around the planet at the night time with reference to the solar system consider the following statement sun rotates faster at the poles than the equator near surface sheer layer of the sun plays a significant role in defining the nature of the large scale convective patterns that drives the sun magnetism only and only this is the right answer because you know that sun is not a solid body but it is a composed of gaseous plasma different latitudes rotate at a different periods the rate of the surface rotation is observed to be the fastest at the equator and decreases as the latitude increases the solar rotation period is 24.47 days at the equator and almost 38 days at the poles the average rotation is 28 days near surface sheer layer exist very close to the solar surface where there is an outward decrease in the angular velocity the near surface sheer layer nssl is the thought to play a significant role in defining the nature of the large scale connect convective patterns that drive the sun's magnetism understanding nssl is a crucial for the study of several solar phenomena like sun spot formation solar cycle and it will also help in understanding such phenomena in other stars consider the following statements the axis of the earth max an angle 66 and a half degree with its orbital plane days and night occur due to revolution of the earth days are always longer than the nights at the equator always only and only 1 and 3 is the right you know that earth rotates along its axis from west to east it takes approximately 24 hours to complete on own own rotation days and nights occur due to rotation of the earth earth rotates on tilted axis earth or rotational axis makes an angle rotational axis makes an angle of 
23 and a half degree with the normal it makes an angle 66 and a half degree with the orbital plane orbital plane is the plane of the earth's orbit around the sun daylight at the equator is always bit longer than the darkness the result of the refraction of the light through the atmosphere that allows us to see the sun a few minutes before it rises and few minutes after it sets at which of the following places tropical monsoon climate is found tropical monsoon it's the indian subcontinent it's the eastern africa north eastern part of the south america Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Tropical monsoon climate is mainly found between 5 degree to 30 degree latitudes in southern and south eastern part of Asia. Tropical monsoon are the most commonly found in Africa. Tropical monsoon are most found in Africa, West and Central Africa, Asia, South and South East Asia, North Eastern part of South America and Central America. The climate also occurs in the section of the Caribbean and North America and Northern Australia. Tropical monsoon climates have monthly mean temperature above 80 degree, 18 degrees Celsius, 64 per degree per night. In every month of the year, in a dry season. The major controlling factor over a tropical monsoon climate is the relationship to the monsoon circulation. The monsoon is a seasonal changes in the wind direction. In Asia, during the summer, there, in, there is in, an onshore flow of air, air moving from ocean towards the land. The change in the direction is due to the differences in the way the water and the heat, land heat, change pressure, the changing pressure pattern that affects the seasonality of the precipitation also occur in Africa, though it is generally differ. On the way it operates in Asia. During the high sun season in the intertropical convergence zone, ITC jet induces rain. During the low sun season, the subtropical high creates dry condition. The monsoon climate of Africa and the Americas matter are typically located along the trade winds coast consider the following statement regarding cool temperature eastern marine climate It is found only in the southern hemisphere. It is characterized by cold, dry winters and warm and wet summer. Lumbering is the most important economic and undertaking of this type of climatic region, which are the correct about eastern marine climate. Only in southern hemisphere. I think two and three is the right answer. Cool temperature, eastern marine climate or Laurentian type climate is found only in the two region. That two only in the northern hemisphere. Northeastern North America, including eastern Canada, northeast. USA, Newfoundland, 
This may be referred as the North American region, eastern coastline of Asia, including eastern Siberia, northern China, Manchuria, Korea, northern Japan. This type of climate is, uh, is absent in the southern hemisphere. It is characterized by cool, dry winters, warm, wet summers. Winter temperature are below freezing point and snowfall is a quite natural. Summers are as warm as the tropics, 25 degrees Celsius. Annual rainfall ranges from 75 to 150 centimeter. Two thirds of the rainfall occurs in the summer. Lumbering and it is a sort of seated timber, paper, pulp industry are the most important economic undertaking. Agriculture is less important because of the long and severe winters. Consider the following statement regarding warm temperature eastern margin climate. It is found between 20 degree and 35 degree north and south latitude on the east coast and the both the hemisphere natal type climate is the variation of the warm temperate climatic margin Natal type climate is even the variation of the warm temperate eastern margin of the climate. Only and only. See, one and two both are right. Warm temperature eastern margin climate. It is found between 20 degree and 35 degree north and south latitude. It is found between 20 degree and 35 degree north south latitude. Warm temperate latitude just outside the tropics on the east coast in the both hemisphere. Different variant of warm temperate 